What Country brings is really innovation and talent. They've been coming from a manufacturing world and transferring over to something very different. And this new place requires different levels of both academics and what I would call incentive programs to be successful. When you look at Asia, a lot of Asia is around cost type activity. That can't be the complete focus of Costa Rica. You must be competitive, but you must be able to innovate and your talent must stand out. Its proximity to the United States in a lot of ways works out very well for Costa Rica in terms of being able to work um, with U.S. engineers. The talent in countries uh, really, really pretty impressive, right? I mean, that today at Intel Costa Rica, we have 1,800 people. And if you think about the significance of that, we're able to find talent in all of those different disciplines uh, in engineering and in information technology and finance and human resources. As, as the country moves more and more towards this research and development type ecosystem, it's getting enough of the engineers out there. Um, the quality of the folks is very, very good. The quantity is what I think remains a bit of the challenge. Uh, I think that the country is looking to figure out how do you create more of those curriculums. Um, you know, and the partnership with the government's been pretty amazing. So we continue to work with the government to find how do you create really this ecosystem that will help the country uh, thrive. And they've been very open to figure out how does industry, academia, and government all work together to create that.